Delete everything. Add a cylinder. Press S to scale it in the Y axis. Press Ctrl R to add two loop cuts. Scale that in the Y axis. Press E to extrude. Press S and scale it in. Select both sides and scale it in. Extrude it and scale it in. Delete it. Hold Alt and select both edges. Press W and choose Bridge Edge Loop. Let's go to Files Import and choose Scalable Vector Graphics. And add in the SVG I provide in the description. Press R and rotate it in X axis 90 degree. Press G and Z to move it in Z axis. Press F3 and type Convert. Choose Convert to Mesh. Got to Edit Mode. Press Ctrl X and select Limit Dissolve. Select the end part. Press O to turn on proportional editing. Press R and rotate it upwards. Match it with the curve of the cylinder. Change the pivot point to 3D cursor. Press Shift S and choose cursor to world origin. Press A and select everything. Press Shift D, press R and rotate it. Continue this process until you reach half of the circle. Press A to select everything again. Press Shift D, press S and scale it in minus one. Go to object mode. Place it in front of the cylinder. Go to edit mode. Press A to select all. Press E and extrude it into the cylinder. Press A again. Make sure the pivot point is set to 3D cursor. Press Shift D and right click. Press S and scale it in minus one. Go to object mode and select the cylinder. Give it a boolean modifier. Change the solver to fast. Select the object as our SVG. As you can see the shape of our SVG is cut outed in the cylinder. Apply the boolean modifier and delete the SVG. Add in the same SVG one more time. Press G to move to the top. Move it in the Y axis and place it in the middle. Convert it to a mesh. Got to edit mode. Press Ctrl X and select Limit Dissolve. Give it a shrink wrap modifier. Select the as our cylinder. Turn on on cage. Make sure the pivot point is set to 3D cursor. Duplicate it and rotate it the other end. Continue this process. Select all and rotate the gate to the center. Select a small part of the SVG and press Ctrl L to select the linked part. Press Shift D to duplicate it and rotate it to the gate. Apply the modifier. Go to edit mode. Press E to extrude it and scale it out. Go to shader editor. Go to render mode. Go to viewport shading. Under lighting turn off scene world. This is Blender's build-in HDRI. Create new material. Change the metallic, specular, specular tint, and isotropic rotation, sheen, sheen tint, clear coat, all to one. Add in a noise texture. Connect the color to roughness. Change the details to 16 and change the scale to two. Give it a nice copper color. Add a orange emission color in the middle and change the strength to 5. Give the same copper material to the SVG. There we go. You could add a subsurface modifier to it, but my PC couldn't handle it. Thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.